Are you going on a plane, Mom? I am going on a plane. Are you gonna miss me? Yes. You have a cranky face. Are you mad that I'm going? No. You're not? Are you happy that I'm going? Good morning. It's actually like the very night and I wanted to show you how I shave my face in preparation for the weekend. Before I do, I know I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, so I am going to put a hair mask on my hair and then I'm going to shave my face. I've had this in my drawer for so long. It is just a very simple overnight hair mask. I'll put it in the description for you guys. It smells really good um, and it's specifically meant to be an overnight mask. It smells really good. You can see that I have used it all the way. There's enough for me to do one more hair treatment. There's a reason that I put, my, put it on when my hair is dry because your hair is porous, it can only absorb so much. If your hair is wet, it's halfway full of water. And I don't want it to be absorbed full of water, I want it to be absorbed, like I want it to absorb the hair mask. I'm gonna start on my ends because that's like the driest part of my hair. So I'm just gonna work it into like little sections like this, only because I don't have very much hair product. If I had more hair product, I'd probably just slap it all on there. But anyway, we're just gonna go in sections. The front is the most dry for me, and so I'm gonna start there. So if I do run out of product, the parts that I need covered are covered. Ugh, my hair feels so dry. I'm literally losing my hair. Um, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> this is so like, <laughs> janky. <laughs> I am literally just like caking it on. It's fine, it does not even have to be perfect. I'm going to put it up into a bun and I'm gonna sleep with it like this. Ew, my hair is not, it just feels disgusting. I have like dry shampoo in there, just all sorts of gunk. So I'm gonna coat my hair and I'll be right back. My hair is all the way coated in this overnight mask. I used every little drop. I'm going to just pull it up out of my way and tonight when I go to bed, I'm going to um, put probably a clear shower cap on. I'll link the ones I like in the description. So for the purpose of covering <laughs> my hair up, I don't even know what you would call this. I'm going to find one and link it for you in the description. This one just came in a PR package and I actually really like it when I use makeup setting spray. I will cover my hair because I have natural curly hair and if I've strained my hair and I, whoop, and I use makeup setting spray, then it gets my little baby hairs curly and that makes me angry. So I actually really enjoy this little thing. I like hat. <laughs> so I'll see if I can find one and link it in the description that's very similar to this one. I'm going to grab a washcloth. I'm going to wash my face because you don't want to shave your face if you have a dirty face. Ooh, that's a hot washcloth. I'm not going to use soap because I actually washed my face this morning with soap and I don't want to strip my skin. I just have really sensitive skin. If I were to wash it twice and then try and then shave it, like it's just a lot for my skin. And so I'm just using a hot washcloth to wipe away any, um, I don't know, maybe it doesn't really clean it, but all I know, this is what I'm doing. So I think the last time I shaved my face was several months ago. I know that's the number one worry that women have is if I start shaving my face, is it going to grow back? And that was mine. I want to get right up and close for you. I mean, my skin is not looking nice. Like it just, it just isn't, but I want to get nice up and close. You cannot see any facial hair, but in the sunlight, you can. And I'm going to alt some it this week, and I just feel like I just need that extra edge. I'm gonna be in front of a lot of women. What we're doing is to do, having a runway show for Bali brand, and I'm gonna be in front of a lot of like fashion women and 
taking pictures and blah 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 so anyway I just feel like it's a good time to do this so once your face is clean then I'm going to put some sort of a barrier on there this is oil that I like to use you can use any oil that you want this is specifically a facial oil I will actually place two drops of this oil mixed in with my lotion and I'll put it over my whole body mixed with probably like two or three pumps of lotion but I just give that a nice coat on my face and then I'm going to take this tinkle razor and I have said this before on like my Instagram when I showed this you cannot buy these off Amazon anyone that you buy off Amazon is a fake and you will cut your face <laughs> if you read through the comments that's what all of them say even though it's by tinkle razors if you go to tinkle their actual website it says on there the only place these are sold so you might be able to find ones that people are selling but I'm not going to chance it, especially with how cheap these things are. I get them from either Walmart or their actual website. So I'll also have these in the description for you. And here we go. I actually, this is the same one I used last time, I think. <laughs> I always start in the same spot. I move my little sideburns because I don't want to shave those off. I just go like right below it and you're going to be able to hear it. Oh, I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. I'm gonna stick it all on a piece of toilet paper though and show you at the end. I wish it was a little bit darker of hair so you could actually see. And I just go in little tiny baby strokes like this. Actually, if I'm being honest, there is less hair than there was the first time. I know people get really nervous. This is like the hairiest part right in here so I'm doing it first. So many people get scared to do this because they don't want their face hair to grow back. Mine is less. I probably have half of what I did last time. And I asked my, um, the lady that does all my facials, I was asking her about it. And I was like, does your, will your hair grow? There's like nothing on this. This is so disappointing. Because I really wanted to show you guys results. There is nothing on my face. It doesn't even sound quite the way it did last time. There's hardly anything. So, okay, anyway, sorry, lost my train of thought. I See, and I always get scared because I don't have a hairy lip. I don't want a hairy lip, but she said, she's like, you cannot change the DNA of where your hair wants to grow. If your body is going to grow a mustache, it's gonna grow a mustache. See, I don't know if I even did this last time. This is scary to me. I will say I had lots of women that want to remain nameless shave their face after this and they said they loved it. Oh, it scares me to grow my chin. It's all mental, it doesn't really hurt. It's just like such a mental spot for me. Okay. You can like tell that I'm being so soft. Ellie did her nose last time and I got dyed, but she does it for the, for the dry skin part. <laughs> it's so, so weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. She did, however, say I would never use a real razor. I don't know what the difference would be, but she said she would not use a real razor. She would use the facial women's razors, which this is. Oh, here we go. Okay, now this part is the where I notice with my makeup. You be very careful. Do not shave off your eyebrows. That would be a complete nightmare. But I'm going above it and below it because I hate when I'm filling in my makeup. This also helps because you won't accidentally get your hair. P.S. My head hurts so bad. I can feel it like I think I just got like a hair right there. <laughs> okay, the reason I'm really excited right now is because I'm noticing that I have less hair than last time. I am more daring on the spots that I'm doing because I know it didn't hurt me last time. And there was zero notice of growth coming back. And yeah, I feel really good about this. I'm going right up against my eyebrow because I feel like it makes my eyebrow Last time it made my eyebrows look like more pronounced. I don't think I did my forehead. There's nothing to show you. There's nothing to show you. There's 
literally nothing on this paper. You can see like a little right here and like a little right here. I was truly hoping it could be like, oh my gosh, look how much hair I got on my face. Ooh, it feels really nice. Feels really nice, and now I'm just going to let this oil soak into my skin. I'm actually getting a spray tan, and you. And I'm gonna throw this away, even though it could probably be fine for next time. I just don't want any bacteria growing on it. I probably shouldn't have reused it today, but it's fine, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw that away. And I'm getting a spray tan tonight in preparation for the weekend. Stay tuned for that video. I will make sure that we record it all. I'm really excited. This was like so simple and not that big a deal. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in my hair. I'm gonna wash up my, I'm gonna, in the morning, this is the plan. I'm going to rinse off my spray tan, wash my hair, let my hair air dry because we have to leave to the airport at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm going to take some Tylenol PM to get rid of this headache, rinse all of this off tomorrow, and hopefully I'll be looking hot for the week. So wish me luck and we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.